early morning in Jaipur and the streets are slowly, slowly waking up. But our good friend, the Chaiwala, is already up. So a uh, good day to start an early expedition to the fort, Ahmed Fort, after Chai. Fresh goodness. Somebody wants an early shave. Kind of Boy Scout gathering, I guess. Bardi Chopas Metro exit. So from here we can get a bus for about 20 rupees. Yeah, there they are, right in front of us. So that white one over there, it goes by the fort. Improvised stop. What you see here is flattened rice with lots of goodies in it. It's actually my favorite breakfast. It's called poha. So let's have some poha. Baya, kitna? 30 rupees for some fresh poha. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Normally they even have some pomegranates spread into it. And some fresh lime juice. Grr, fresh poha. Damn, don't think about it in Brazilian Portuguese. So uh, we got one of the small local buses, not the white one. And it's going to Amir Fort for 30 bucks. 20-30 minutes ride from the center of town to the fortress. So there it is. Amber Fort. It's a part of the UNESCO World Heritage actually. This here is Maoti Lake. It used to be known as Mahavati Lake and it used to be actually the water reservoir for Jaipur. That fort in the distance is Jaigar Fort, second fortress. That's connected to this fort by an underground tunnel. And what you see here in front of us is known as um, the Saffron Gardens. So saffron was planted here by a Maharaja. Namaste Elephant G. Moon Moon. So we made it to uh, Suraj Pal, the sun gate facing east, which leads to the main courtyard of the palace. And out here is a temple shrine to Sheila Devi that the Maharaja brought back after victory in battle in 1604 and it came all the way from Bengal and it's an icon of uh, Durga, Kali, goddess of power and the entrance to the palace and this here is the Diwani Am, the hall for public audience Ganesha himself is right on top of the arch. And the Shish Mahal mirror hall. And in front of it, uh, the Mughal style gardens.
The Diwani Khas used to be kept cool with a water system here. It used to pass over this reservoir. It's now empty. And over into the gardens. So that would cool down the ambient temperature. And here you can see part of the water cooling system that used to serve the rest of the gardens. And the Diwani Khas right across. Here, one of the typical Rajasthani jalis, stone screens. It gives them privacy. And this is also one of the places where one of the main scenes from the Joda and Akbaru movie were filmed. And Joda is supposedly a princess from the kingdom of Amir out here in Jaipur. Nice example of the ventilation system. So there's a nice cold, cool draft. And the upper passages here in the women's quarters looks a bit like a labyrinth. Here, bronze statue of Shiva in his Nataraja form, king of dance actually. And the dwarf here at the bottom that he's dancing on represents ignorance. There's a cafe coffee day here, so for those of you who want uh, decent coffee, they've got it right in the palace. that you see here going all around the hills they're actually uh, the second longest if not first longest uh, wall after the wall of China the militarized wall that is seems to like the music. And we're gonna go down there to see a little traditional water step well. So as you can see, it's a pretty arid area, so people had to be inventive with uh, how to store water. And those monkeys, the ones that took over this building, they're known as the Blackface Langur. to the step well, where of course you can get chai right next door. In we go.
this is an example uh, of a step well that traditionally was used both as a place to relax because it's nice and cool you can see down here and a place where people could gather uh, rainwater The entrance uh, for the step wall here is actually for free, so you don't have to pay anything if you want to come visit it. Though there is a larger example of traditional step wall architecture, an hour or two out of Jaipur, that I show you in the next time. Here on the back side, on the top of this tower, the flag that you can see with the colors is actually the flag of Jaipur and the royal family. It's called the Pancharange, five colors. And they got this flag after defeating the Afghans in battle during the Mughal time, somewhere in the 17th century actually. And to celebrate that victory, this is, uh, that became the new flag of Jaipur. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short visit of the palace and the stepwa. I'm going to be walking the remaining 400 meters or so back to the bus stop and catch one of the buses back to town. See you next time.